Today we're going to see how I made this um, 3D traffic light behavior chart for school. I used two black foam board I purchased at the Dollar Tree. Scissors, cardstock, paper for the uh, red, yellow, and green light. Hot glue gun, exacto uh, knife, be very careful with that. Uh, glue marker, printer. If you want to try doing this project, you're going to need to go to the link below and print this pattern. Start by cutting on the dotted line and then place all the items together. A with A, B with B, C with C. Once you put all these pieces together, you're going to glue them together and you're going to end up with three big pieces that you're going to connect horizontally. Now it's going to be one with one and two with two. This is how you finish the pattern. Okay, now that you have the pattern all in one piece, you're going to place it on the blackboard and trace it. You can hold it down with table, you trace it or not. Use your favorite blade, either an exacto knife or a box cutter. Be very careful, these are sharp items. And cut all around the edges. And this is what it's going to look like once you are done cutting all around. Okay, now we're going to create the gap between the top section and the bottom section. And this is what you have to do. Cut 16 rectangles, about one uh, by three inches long. Glue them together in groups of four. Then glue those groups of four in the center of the board, like this. Okay, now we're ready to begin the top section. You're going to use the same pattern we use for the bottom section, but you're going to fold the tabs. Fold them all backwards uh, behind the uh, squares and it's going to look like a long rectangle with no tabs. This rectangle is going to be traced on a separate blackboard, the foam board. You're going to trace it, cut it just like you did with the first one and it's going to look like this. Here I have the top board cut out and the circles for the traffic light. Okay, let's put it together now. It's going to look just like this when we put it together. Uh, the places where you have to add the glue is right here. This is one of the clips I took out from the download. This is included with the download part of the instructions. And this is how we get that gap in between both sections. Now the last steps are very simple. Just glue the circles to the top part. Now using a piece of ribbon or a piece of string, we're going to add a little loop in the back of the traffic light once you're done so you can hang it on your wall. Or if you want to hang it up permanently, you can use double-sided tape or even Velcro. And here you are. This is the traffic light all done. Just need to add the clothes pins and hope everyone stays on green.